Okay, this is a, a, uh, this car was built uh, here in Denver by Mark Williams in 1968, I think, Stevie. It has, um, uh, most cars that you guys drive have about three to two to three hundred horsepower. This car, and they weigh about three to five thousand pounds. This car has 1,200 horsepower and weighs about 1,400 pounds. It accelerates from zero to 60 from where it sits to that pole. It's doing about 60 miles an hour. And its top speed is almost 200 miles an hour. And it does that in about six or seven seconds from the time it stopped, dead stop to 200 miles an hour. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a real wild ride. Now the first 60 feet, the wheels are in the air, and I'm mostly guessing. And the last, the last uh, uh, 100 feet, uh, it, it's so blurry, I'm still guessing to see that I'm, I'm wondering if I'm still on the track. And that's when I pull the chute. It has a parachute that stops it because that's the tracks are not long enough. How many G's do you feel? It pulls about five G's. It's actually more slowing down than going. Oh really? Yeah. When you pull the chute, it. Some guys have had trouble with their eyes. <laughs> and before he talks about it in there, I'm going to give you a little history of my racing. I actually got to drive my first race car at 15 years old. That would never happen today, and I had my first dragster, which was almost a twin to this one, when I was 16. <laughs> and I've been doing it ever since until I was hurt in an oil field accident in 94, and then Sammy's been driving for me since 08. I uh, raced for about 20 years my own car, as you heard in there. Then I got out of it for about 20 years and traveled around the world and skied with the United States Speed Ski and other things. And I came back to Denver from Mexico and went to an auto race. And Stevie walked up to me and said, you're Sammy Rice. I said, yeah. <laughs> and he said, I'm looking for a driver. Would you be interested in driving? And so we uh, came we to an agreement. To tell him. You lived behind my junior high school. I could never go straight home. I had to go by Sammy's house because you had <laughs> I had race cars. So Stevie used to come by. So uh, uh, Carol and I were walking around an auto show, and we met, ran into Stevie, and we came to an agreement to drive the car. And I think the first race out, we won a national event, uh, which is pretty unusual being out of a car for 20 years. And then we won four out of race, four out of five races that first year. <coughs> I think three out of five the, the year after that. So we've been doing really well together. Stevie's a top-notch mechanic, and I do pretty well as driving. So as a team, we're doing doing real well. They're scared of us, I know that. <laughs> so um, we're going to start. You may have to cover your ears. The thing gets pretty loud. Yeah, um, I wouldn't be standing behind you. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're just gonna yeah. run here. Don't stand in front of you. <laughs> yeah, so. Where are we? <laughs> don't stand beside it either, I don't think. We just built the engine. And, uh, we have a car that we're going to race this weekend. And we put the, the wires in just to keep the dirt out. It works better if we put spark plugs in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't have much room in there, does he? That's why it's going to be kind of embarrassing, Sam. <laughs> You get in there to get ready to go, you know, and it's long. Yeah. Kind of put plugs in. It really cuts into your time, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, no, I know, but they say, gentlemen, start your engine. They don't do that, do Oh, they? no, no. And then you go a distance, and the first one there wins? Yeah, that's it. It's a acceleration race. The, the first one, there's a tree down there, we call it. And it has a yellow, four yellow lights and one green light. Okay. And you have to wait for that. Supposed to wait till the green light on, but if you do that, you're going to get left. So I always wait till the last yellow light goes out, and then I go. So it's um, and then the guy next to me, he's trying to beat me. So it's the guy who does the best tuning and who reacts the quickest is the guy who wins the race. And that's that's what it's all about. Okay. 
So it's a quarter mile, 1,320 feet, and it's how fast you can accelerate in, in that 1,320 feet, and how quick you're at. Did they do these at Vandermeer? Oh yeah, yeah. we're all friends. Uh, that's one thing about the racing community. Everybody knows everybody else. We're all a family. We all work together. If one guy has a problem, and here works with us. We, we all support each other. So it's a real tight family situation. Uh, that's one of the good things about racing. This is Dan Lexa. Uh, you'll see there's uh, pictures there and the table inside. You'll see pictures of Dan's car also. It's the what's the, what's it called? Colorado Gold. Colorado Gold. You'll the see car in the late seventies, early eighties. Fuel funny car. All right, this should be. And Steve's duplicate. <laughs> how tight it is with Sam. I've been fortunate enough to be out the band and actually watch Sam race out there. It's quite a drill. But you'll notice how tight it was for Sam just getting in his seat. And that's without his uh, fireproof suit on that he has to wear. And um, I think you can just kind of hold your arms in one place. And yeah. Probably um, shove the helmet on you. Yeah. <laughs> to be I, honest I with you, this motor was totally torn down and we put it back together and we didn't put spark. Let it go. Let it go. And when I'm in there, the brake pedal is here, right? So, and the gas pedal is down here and I'm on the steering wheel. So, it's like this when the light turns green, I slam and let go of the brake. Then I grab the steering wheel. Then now I have to shift. Now I'm back on the steering wheel. Now I get to the parachute and back to the brake, all in, in four seconds. Wow. At 200 miles an hour. Wow. That's what's happening. It's all like bang, 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 and it's over. Wow. So is there no clutch? Uh, There's no clutch. It's an automatic. Automatic. Yeah. Just one shift. That's what confused me. Yeah, it's all automatic. Thank God I wouldn't have time to shift. Do you shift manually? Yeah, I shift it. I let go of the brake, and within a second, I'm ready to shift. That happens in the first second, second and a half. And then I'm kind of riding until I hit the chute. But the thing is, when you're going like that, your head's shaking. You can't really see. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Well, that's what I was going to ask. You said the last 100 yards or 100 feet, everything's vibrating or blurry. Is that because it's vibrating? Yeah, because the car's accelerating so hard and your head is shaking. 
I put a rubber pad back there, and that helps a lot. Yeah. How much do the wheels expand? They grow probably up to here. Wow. They get really small. The fuel? The kind of fuel? It runs on nitromethane. It's um, a combination of nitromethane and alcohol. Nitro is a, what it sounds like. It takes it from, what you say, Dan, about 500 horsepower to 1,200? Probably four times the horsepower. Just that fuel. That it runs about 98 fuel? bucks a gallon. 98. And a, this car only consumes, what, four, three, four, three or four, four gallons in a quarter of an hour. I'll tell you about some other our other higher end cars in the oh, yeah. yeah, it it consumes, it's it's running. It. And to have it, I have to have permission from Homeland Security. Mm. To buy the nitro. Oh. Oh. The nitro turned out. Well, what happened was two people came in, used two drums of nitro, <laughs> two drums of diesel <laughs> fuel, and fertilizer. When you mix it all together, it makes all of it explosions. So those are explosions you heard. <laughs> And, I mean, it, it really is a powerful, but it's pretty, it's pretty benign in and of itself. You have to have heat and pressure. It's not like gasoline. It's not real volatile. But we mix about 40% nitro to 70% alcohol. 30, 60. How many races per year? I don't know, four or five. Yeah, we only run four or five, but we run it with three different cars. And we travel, we go as far as Bakersfield, California. This weekend we're going to uh, Julesburg. There'll be about 600 cars up there. Why can't you use it over and over? What do you mean? Well, you should take the car out this weekend and then next weekend you go somewhere else with the same car. Yeah, uh huh. Oh, okay. We have, we have, four, we have a four car team. That's what he's talking about. But we rebuild it twice a year. How many races? Well, the big car we rebuild after just about every other run. The, the bigger cars, pretty, I'm going to tell you about in a minute. We build after every run. They make a pass and, and they have to build a car and build the engine again. But it happens so quickly as those guys change the plugs. They take the motor completely apart, put new pistons and rods and stuff in it. And is, is that due to wear? Or uh, it, yes, when, you have, when you're producing, they produce, this car produces 1,200 horsepower, their cars produce 10, about 11,000. So when you're producing that kind of horsepower, it uses stuff up quick. And how much torque does this one get then converted to? About 1,200. Oh, torque? Probably about the same. Pretty close to the same, yeah. Yeah, it'll just light those tires right up. <laughs> See, this is old school. This is how they used to Yeah, run. this is the old school. Right. I didn't mean, yeah, he's right. This, this is, is the way it was in the 60s. Right. This is the nostalgia? Yeah, nostalgia racing. This is what <laughs> I'm going to show you what they're doing now here in some videos. But How often do you have to change those tires? Two years. Well, how many runs in? So two, oh, four, sure. dozen? We run Did four times a race, five times a race. Yeah, so, yeah. 50 times. Yeah. Oh, no, they, we don't. This car is very inexpensive to run, comparatively speaking. You have to use leaders? No, no, we twice. just get a deal. Okay. <laughs> Stevie's good at getting deals. <laughs> Compression ratio? Way to do it. About uh, 14, 16 to 1, static. Most cars are about 9 to 1. You guys know what that is. <clears throat> yeah, it's... Steve and I build the engines. Well, let's head, everybody, let's head back in. Any and, other uh, questions? <laughs> We'll have some questions afterwards.